Oh, look at you getting all settled in the chair, showing off Man. the guns. Give it to him. I Give got him all these people bicep. asking me to cheer, but you know what? I don't. I don't or not cheer. Uh, flex. I don't flex for free. So Jared's gonna try and reset these cheers. If I get enough cheers, maybe I'll pull out them guns. This. Uh, listen, you guys that don't understand Seattle, okay, bro. It's been miserable. It's miserable around here. Usually. In Seattle, the the story is that summer starts on July 5th, okay? Ooh. That's how long it takes to get warm around here. Ugh. Well, by the grace of God, and I don't even know how, the weather forecast is 10 straight days of sun, and it may hit the 80s by the end of this week. Bro, you think I'm not wearing a tank top? Mm. Think again. For, for I may be topless there. by the time we uh, get to Friday. Yeah, by the time we get to Friday, it might be some solo shows because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, I think I might need to go to the dentist, which is located at the beach, I'm sure. From the looks of it, you need to go to the gym. Now, listen, oh, yeah. Yeah. let me start with this. Forget all this stuff because I got to get this off my chest. I was thinking about this today. Fiend us up. Come on. Okay, so I bit, I did a big rant last night about the Fiend and, and Randy Orton. and You know, I deal with a lot of people that are dumb. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but, I mean, it's just flat out being dumb and not being like a troll. It's just being dumb. You know, I I was really angry about what they did last night. And then you got the people going, remember when Brian was so angry about the John Cena, Bray Wyatt, Firefly Funhouse match? He was so mad that it wasn't a wrestling match. And then they give us a wrestling match last night and he complains. Well, yeah, if you've got the IQ of a turnip... Listen, you know why I got mad about the John Cena Bray Wyatt match? Because they advertised that they were going to have a wrestling match, and then they gave us a vignette. Now, listen, if you like the vignette, fine. Like, as a vignette, like it was a funny, good vignette. But these were two human beings that were feuding and didn't like each other. And then they gave me a vignette where there's no way to suspend disbelief that they weren't working together to put this vignette together. Oh, John Cena, he was forced to put on his old outfit against his... It's just ridiculous, okay? If you like the vignette, great, okay? But it wasn't a match, and you couldn't pretend that they weren't working together to put the thing together. So... This time, they advertised a wrestling match, and they delivered it, and I didn't like it. Why? Well, let's think about it. Because the storyline was that one guy burned the other guy to a crisp, okay? He put him in a George Foreman grill, and he shut the lid, and the guy was was rendered ashes. They burnt him like they burnt Darth Vader at the end of the, the Return of the Jedi. He was ashes. There was nothing left of the guy. Bob Dead. Grill. D-E-A-D dead. Well, somehow this bloke comes back to life. And he wants revenge for being burnt to a crisp. Well, then you start thinking about it. Well, let's see. If some dummy burnt me to a crisp, and somehow, after three months I was resurrected, how would I want to face them in a, in a battle for revenge? Well, I'd probably want to do, like, an inferno match. Where, bro, you burned me to a crisp? Well, I'm going to burn you to a crisp. Make well, sure. instead, The Fiend returns, okay? The Fiend makes a big return. The guy that burnt him to a crisp, he gets a big gas can, and he pours gas all over this guy. Well, this guy who was burnt to a crisp and missed three months of paychecks, this guy stands here with gasoline all over him, and he's like, oh, no. Well, what will I do? Well, you know what I'll do? Nothing. I'm going to stand here while the guy lights a match. So the guy lights a match... This other dude is covered in gas. He has the opportunity to burn him to a crisp again. You know what he does? He hits a wrestling move. And you know what the Fiend does? He no-sells it. He lays out the other guy, and then he points at a sign. So then they start advertising that they're going to have a wrestling match. Now, keep in mind, elsewhere on WrestleMania, there's there's a big dummy who's angry about being called a big dummy, and so he challenged the other guy to a match in a steel cage. Because he's so sick of being called dumb. Meanwhile, the guy that got burnt to a crisp, he's like, let's just exchange holds. And if we both end up outside of the ring, the referee can count us out. So anyway, I'm like, bro, you kidding me? We're going to do a wrestling match? That's that's how we're paying off this burnt to a crisp with a wrestling match? Well, you know what they actually did? They went in there and did a wrestling match. 
they exchanged wrestling holds. Holds in the middle of the ring. Oh, you put me in an arm ringer. Oh, I'm going to counter it. So they're in there doing all these stupid holds. And it's just like, a, and it's not even a good match. Like, it'd be one thing if, okay, well, let's have a good match. No, they have a bad match exchanging holds. And then finally, finally, uh, this fiend is about to get his revenge with a hold. And all of a sudden, fire shoots out of the posts. Because somebody thought, oh, it's Kane coming out to induct him to get his, indu- uh, hit the button. Oh. So the things blow up. And the fiend looks up, and there's Alexa Bliss, and she's got goo coming out of her face. And he's like, ah, goo! And he's distracted, and Randy hits him with one RKO. One RKO, and he pins the fiend. Pins him in the middle of the ring. Gets the victory, and then he he leaves. And literally, the payoff is, the fiend looks at Alexa, who's covered in goo. Alexa looks at the fiend, and the fans go, boo! and they booed the rest of the night every time there was a video package they booed everything that these two did gee i wonder why but anyway all that aside because a little of that was a recap of last night if you want the real recap with the f words well then you can go and watch uh the video.f4wonline.com or wrestlingobserver.com the recap of wrestlemania with myself and Vinny and craig i will make it worth your money if you sign up i promise now here's the thing i didn't mention last night Okay? Do you remember that we have discussed that Peacock paid $1,700 for every single person that was subscribed to the WWE Network because they wanted to inflate their uh, subscriber numbers? Yes. Do you also remember that like there's many, many people that already have Peacock for free through their Cox or their, their, uh, their Xfinity, or whatever, okay? So one of the ideas here is, well, besides trying to inflate the numbers, uh, for the WWE side, they also are going to now be on Peacock. So 27.5 million people will have the opportunity to be surfing Peacock and go, holy smokes, WrestleMania's on and I can watch it for free. I should do this right now. And granted, it was a two-night show, but 27.5 million people conceivably were surfing through Peacock on Sunday. Maybe they were looking for the Munsters. They were looking for that one where Herman becomes a pro wrestler because they want to follow along in the Brian Eddie show. But anyway, they're looking through Peacock, and they're looking for old uh, eight-minute Saturday Night Live shows that have been edited all to hell. But anyway, they're looking through, and they go, hey, look at this, WrestleMania. It starts at eight. I haven't watched wrestling in forever. Man, I'm going to try this out. And they sit down with their families wife kids and they all sit around that big screen and they 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 get that popcorn out and the show begins oh my god it's in front of actual live people this is way better than i watched gymnastics and all those cutouts were in the crowd of course later by the way when daniel Bryan's doing the yes chant they zoom out and you see all these people going yes yes but then behind them there's a bunch of cutouts that aren't doing anything that was funny <laughs> but anyway they all sit around and they look at the show and that was the opener. Some grown woman dressed as a nine-year-old walks down to the ring and she's skipping and jumping. And there's a giant box. And this bloke doesn't even know what a box is. He goes, what's that? And then he explains it's a box-like structure. <laughs> and like the husband's looking at the wife like a box-like structure. What's this bloke talking about? And then <laughs> the grown woman dressed like a nine-year-old and skipping around and hopping. The cameraman gets down his knees. He starts shooting up her skirt as she turns the knob. And it's off to the races, brother. Can you imagine? That was how they opened WrestleMania. A bad match, a lame finish, and everybody boos. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.